Hello and welcome, this is Fleece, and uh, I'm doing a Dice Chucky's video on Can I Scorn? And I just wanted to kind of get there first and then uh, show you how I got here, and then we're going to go in and see what we got. Uh, so the first thing I did is I came to the Ruins of Sesheron uh, in Act 3, Ruins of Sesheron. And uh, then I, I went through the ruins. I started out here and went through the ruins just all the way around till I could get to the Elder Sanctum. Uh, so we're just going to go in. And uh, we're going to go through the Elder Sanctum now. And I always get lost, so, you know, it could take a bit. But uh, Because the, the ruins of Sesheron, I can't, I can't stand the ruins of Sesheron. Uh, uh, sometimes it's kind of hard to navigate through here correctly and get lost and stuff. Uh, I like the storyline with it. You know, I mean, this is where uh, we you know, ended Diablo 2 was in uh, Aria. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah, the storyline uh, is... I'm, I'm a sucker for a good storyline. Um, but anyway, um, our whole plan is to just get through here. And uh, I've been enjoying the changes from uh, 2.5. I think they did a good job uh, on this this uh, patch. I I'm enjoying it a lot. And for those curious, I am on my Zunamasa. Uh, Death Breath farming build. And I must say, I'm definitely enjoying it too, because I get a lot of, uh, I get a lot of Death Breath dropping with this, uh, this particular build, and I'll show it to you in a minute. Um, But uh, I got this off of, um, actually off of Big Daddy Dan. I saw his build on uh, Diablo fans uh, for a good, uh, oh, you guys pulled him too much. But uh, I, I saw the build on, uh, uh, well, actually I saw it when he made it on Twitch, and then I went to uh, Diablo fans and, uh, and looked at it. And I was like, well, I'm going to try it out because, you know, I mean, uh, Death Breath are, uh, uh, a very valuable commodity. Okay. That's why I'm also kind of running around looking for any, uh, you know, any rares or anything because I want to make sure I get those. Now, some of the things that I don't really care about the build, I mean, it is a, it's a haunt and soul harvest build. So, I mean, that's your, that's your main, uh, that's your main, uh, damage dealing, uh, as far as what you're casting. Your pets are the main damage deal. This is Zunamasa. Um, and then, uh, you know, I've got, uh, got some additional. So, we're coming up on the, uh, room now. And we're just running right in here. And bam, there's the mysterious chest. Now, to my understanding, the entire last week of March, this is a 100% chance that this chest is going to be here. All right, so let's open the chest up. And uh, there on the ground is Kanai Scorn. So we're going to pick that up. That is a brand new transmog for us. And, of course, we can go to the cow level if we want to, but I, I did it already. I'm not really that concerned about it. Um, but, you know, I mean, if you've, if you've had Scorn, the two-handed axe in the game, you know, <clears throat> uh, you know kind of what Scorn is, but this is Kanai Scorn. There's a great story for it, um, an, an actual real-life person story. Um, but this is what it looks like. I think it looks 
pretty cool. Um, and it's definitely different than the uh, than the other scorn. Uh, but yeah, that's it. That's how and that's how you get it. And it's basically just this last week of March. It's a hundred percent drop. Now I have been told that it, through the throughout the entire month of March you can get it, but it's not going to be a hundred percent. Um, just the last week of March is when it's 100%. Uh, I haven't been able to verify that, so I'm not going to tell you. I do know this only happens in March. Um, and, uh, you know, there it is. That's how you get it. Um, so, yeah, that's what I wanted to uh, kind of show you. Um, and like I said, just go to the Ruins of Session run through it until you get to the uh, Immortal Throne room you know coming to the uh immortal throne there's the box 100 percent chance you get you get the uh the transmog for the two-handed axe um which i think is pretty cool um it is uh it is white too so you can drop it uh and somebody else can pick it up if they're with you uh so you know there you go and uh i also got a pet named buddy so let's go see what he looks like. That dropped off a Menagerous Goblin. Um, so there's no no way I could, you know, could tell you, yeah, you'd go here and get it because it came off of uh, a Menagerous. Let's see. Where's Buddy? There's Buddy. The little flop here. Yeah, this is, Zeno has this one. Zeno runs with this one. I think he had him on his barb. Um, he run him, you know, out with his barb. He's a cool little pup, little flop ears. I like him. Um, this is my favorite doggy, but uh, I think we're gonna run with Buddy for a bit. Buddy's kind of cute. Um, but other than that, you know, 2.5 drops. So now we have the armory, which is awesome. I made the, this is my death breath farm build so it's saved and then i'll have i'll have more that i can save on her uh eventually but uh yeah we got that and oh look at that there's all the crafting mats so that's cool too i really enjoy that uh that part of it also but anyway thank you very much for watching i just wanted to show you guys that um last week of march and uh if you're interested look up the story of you know can i Thank you very much. Remember, our links are all in the video below. Um, you know, for our Facebook, G+, all that good stuff. Remember to like and share and subscribe. Please subscribe. We're actually doing a giveaway uh, on our Mass Effect Andromeda video. Uh, so check that out. But, um, again, thank you for watching.